you can't blame him. He told me before the race, if I win the championship, I am going to burn the tires off of this Toyota. <laughs> he does almost that. Parks that number 60 right up against the outside wall and celebrates right along with the fans. He wanted them to be a part of that celebration as well. As he climbed out of the race car, he went over to talk to a few of the fans. One of them gave him a water bottle. Check out what he does. You guys want to celebrate? Celebrate with me. <laughs> <laughs> well, he'll continue to celebrate. Another guy who wants to celebrate is the driver of the 41. He's with Ray. Well, here he comes out of the race car right now. Just got to victory lane after a good burnout. And that ought to cool him off. The crew here from RCR, he jumps into the middle. And uh, what an amazing season in ARCA. Second at Iowa and two wins. What a great way to set up a run for the championship next year. Yeah, we're so excited. These guys worked so hard. This car was awesome. We, we worked hard on it all day, all week. And uh, we just fine-tuned it, fine-tuned it. Stock, Stockman and Andy Hughes and all the guys, Kale Gale, told me to be patient. I was patient all day. And uh, Pigrew had an awesome stop, got us up to the front. And uh, I knew this car had potential as soon as it got out front like uh, Kansas. And once we get out there, it was, it was really easy. Talk about the competition and what you've learned in your few runs so far this season, Ty. Um, it's an awesome series, and I'm excited to run it all year next year and uh, maybe run for a championship. Okay, this guy might be there next year, and I believe Jim Troido is with the guy who's the 2010 Titleist. And he's climbing out of the car again with the trophy solidly on the roof. Shelter Motorsports team, first time since 1969, a winning owner-driver is a champion. Benny Parsons did it in 69. How cool is it for you, Patrick Shelter, to finally win a championship here? Well, you know, it's a great deal. You know, these guys at Shelter Motorsports, my mom and dad, everybody that's been behind us all year has been awesome. These guys give us a good car here today. We got a little tight there at the end, but you know what? We brought home the championship this year. That's an awesome job for everybody on this team. You didn't say a whole lot on the radio. Your friend Justin Lofton came on and said, man, you got the fastest race car. When it did get tight, did they give you intervals to the 81? What were you thinking? What did you see in the mirror with Craig Ghost closing in? Well, the only thing they told me is we got to pick it up just a little bit, you know, and we had a little room to play there with points because we led laps there and we led the most. So, you know, we, we knew we had a little bit of room there to play with, but we didn't want to give it up. Patrick Wolfie's behind you here. It was a major deal for you guys to make the move, make the change. And you know what, Patrick, we want you to take that trophy and do whatever you want with it. Hoist it over your head there, bud. Grab that trophy. It is yours. Patrick Shelton, Shelton Motorsports, celebrating with the championship trophy in 2010. Take a look at the points. Again, coming in, 20 points separated the top three. A tough day for Tom Hesser. He's 105 points back, but Craig Ghost made it pretty interesting toward the end of this one. He sure did. He had a great car at the end of the race, but nonetheless, great seasons by all those competitors. And our nine-time champion, Frank Kimmel, comes home fourth, and that was a season of what-ifs for Frank Kimmel. Mm -hmm. A couple times, a couple situations. If he hadn't had trouble, he'd have been right in this thing at the end. Patrick Sheltra putting an exclamation points on the end of the 2010 season. With his fourth place finish here at the Rock, it locked up the 2010 championship. And they're going to continue to celebrate this championship. Our unofficial results for the race here, the 20th race of the 2010 season. Ty Dillon grabs his second win in the ARCA Racing Series. How about Kevin Swindell battling back to a second place finish after starting on the pole? Yeah, great run by Kevin Swindell. Awful lot of promise. I believe Kevin's 21 years old. Bright, bright future. Chad Finley, another one of the young drivers. A great run here from the back of the pack because of an engine change. Patrick Shelter clinches that championship with a fourth place finish. Dakota Armstrong coming home in the 11th spot. Steve Arpin tried a little pit strategy, but then in the end ran out of fuel and will end up in the 12th spot. Jesse Smith, Ryan Wilson, Joey Coulter round out the top 15. Brandon Reynolds had a great car, had a tire go down. It relegates him to a 21st place finish. James Hilton, the 74-year-old, comes home in 28th. On through the field. It's been a great season and a great finish to this season here at Rockingham. Let's go back down to Ray Dunlap. Well, always so much fun to have these great championship battles, but I know on your side, a little bit of a disappointment, but overall, a really good season, Craig. Just 20 points separating you and Patrick, your thoughts. Yeah, it was a good season. The uh, 81 Greenville Toyota Camry team, Eddie Sharp Racing, these guys worked hard on this car all day. We got a little bit better there at the end, just came up a little bit short. So, you know, it's just disappointing. 
but um, overall we have had a good season, so I'm looking forward to you know what's in the future. Anything you could have changed today to make the outcome different? I don't think so. I mean, I think we we tried as hard as we could. You know, we um, we, we had we played the best we could with the hand that we were dealt. You know, each time, and that's all you can ask. And you know, it's just the, the way the chips fell this time wasn't in our favor. Okay, 20 points of differential, and look for information about what Craig Ghost will be doing next year coming up next week, possibly on Race Hub. Again, what an unfortunate situation for Steve Arpin in the 55. 10-4. They made the decision to maybe not fill that with fuel, thinking that the handling would be better, but it ended up biting them in the end. Yeah, 148 laps was their last pit stop, only 52 laps to go. You know, wouldn't have taken a lot more fuel. Obviously, about another pint of fuel, and they got to the end. Ty Dillon was able to celebrate win number two in the ARCA Racing Series, and that number 41, he did a pretty impressive burnout. That's two in a row for him coming off of the Kansas win and now winning here at the historic Rock. And then I didn't think he wanted to be outdone, so Patrick Shelter decided, I better do a pretty good burnout as well. So he parks it right up against the outside wall and just almost burns the Hoosiers completely off <laughs> the back of that race car. <laughs> that's Shel Patrick Shelter's family right there, and that's uh, that's who gave the bottle of water yeah. that, he, that he doused with water. And then he sprayed him with it. <laughs> <laughs> and now let's go to the third competitor in this championship hunt, Tom Hessert's with Ray. Yeah, Tom Hessert, a little bit disappointment here, but uh, ended up a couple laps down. What happened in your race today, Tom? We just really, uh, the first set of tires, we were pretty good and drove up, and after the pit stop, we were sitting there fourth, and uh, fourth or fifth, something like that, and it was pretty optimistic about our uh, chances to at least make up some ground in the middle part of the race there, and then the second and third stints on tires, we just really, really struggled very loose, and, uh, you know, it was a shame. We came out, um, you know, where we started third in the championship, but uh, really proud of the whole kind of game motorsports team. We had an excellent effort in 2010, and, uh, you know, visited Big Trillium one time, and Best season of my career so far, so excited for next year. With that big win at Iowa, how do you grade the overall season? A, B, what? Uh, you know, it was probably an A before today, but <laughs> afterwards we're probably going to go with the B plus, just because I know we could have done better today. But uh, like I said, real proud of the whole team, and and uh, it's been a terrific season. And just looking forward to getting uh, getting figured out what we're going to do next year. Okay, good luck. Tom Hessert will finish third in the championship chase. Rick. Thanks, Ray. He's got a little bit of time before he decides what's going to happen next year. How about Shelter's parents coming down? And <laughs> they finally let him on the racetrack. Yeah. What a season, though, Phil. I mean, we saw 12 different drivers go to victory lane this year for the first time. And <laughs> we're just 126 days away from our next race here in the ARCA Racing Series. It'll fly by. And we have so much drama and such, such a great season, such great competitors, and from the officials to the crew guys to the drivers. And uh, it's just a pleasure to be around this series. 14 different winners in the 2010 season. One guy who went to victory lane twice was Patrick Sheltra, but hoisting the trophy at the end of the season was oh so sweet. Patrick Sheltra, your 2010 ARCA Racing Series champion.